Hi, my name is Terry Evans. In this demonstration video, I'll be covering the new feature which was added to both the Bible and LDS books scripture applications. That feature is the ability to create references or cross-references and also footnotes for any word in the entire scriptures. As a disclaimer, I am running this on an iMac, the recording software, so the program will be a little bit snappier than on your iPhone or iPod Touch, but it's still very fast. What I want to do first is show you how the feature works, and then I'll show you how to go in and actually create your own references. When you're, whenever you have a reference to find, it will show up in your link color that you can customize in the application settings. In this case, my link color is blue with the standard background, so the word spirit here has references attached to it. You merely tap on that word, and it pops up this references and footnotes window at the bottom. In here you can see I currently have four different references already defined. There's one that would navigate to Genesis 2.6, another one that goes to the same reference with a note. Here's one with just a note, and here's one that goes to a different scripture. Clicking on one that has just a scriptural reference pops up a new window and shows you the reference scripture. You close that down. If you have one with just a note, it navigates your screen where you can type where uh, it'll show you the note you've typed in previously. If you have one with a reference and a note, clicking on it will navigate to this window where you can continue on and navigate to the referenced scripture and you can see the note here. In this case, let's go ahead and navigate on again. What you'll notice here is the verse I navigated to also has a reference to find. So I can click on it now and this allows you to go ahead and drill down as far as you want into the scriptures. In fact, you can just keep going if you'd like to. So you can chain together as many scriptures as you want and just keep going down. When you're done, you can click the done buttons and close out the window. So it keeps a stack of everything you've navigated to. Go ahead and close these down. Now I want to show you how to create your own references. To do that, for the verse you want to create a reference for any of the words in it, you click on the verse number. You click Edit References. And this is the Edit, Reference, edit References window that appears. Now you pick any of the words. In this case, let's go ahead and pick Spirit. And this shows you the four references I've created previously for the word Spirit. If you want to edit the list, you click on the Edit List button. In here, you can rearrange the order that they appear. Or you can also delete them. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and delete this one. And they just all slide together. If I want to create a new reference for this word, you click on Add Reference. A new one slides in. You tap on it. Now you can navigate to anywhere in the scriptures if you want to create a reference. So in this case, let's go 2 Samuel 3, go around to verse 3. Let's go ahead and pick verse 3. You see it appears. If you want a note also, I can type in a note that will appear. So 2 Samuel 3, 3, this is a note. And I can say I'm done. I come back. And now you can see the new note that's appeared on the bottom. Uh, that's the basics of the new feature for uh, adding references and footnotes. I hope you enjoyed this short video. Thank you.